Russia said that the EU should have. That the, no. What's your response, though? Thank you. Now to look at it to to have names. What about what Navi Pillay said about disarming the Seleka first? That France left Muslims at risk. Sure, Ambassador. What do you make of Russia's criticism? What Russia said after the vote that the EU should have reached some agreement with the African Union, and also Navi Pillay when she testified to the to the Human Rights Council, she said that the disarmament of the ex-Seleka by the French forces seems to have left Muslim communities vulnerable to attack. And I wonder what what will the EU do different? And do you think that the return of these Muslims that have now had to flee if they weren't uh, actually killed? To the return to Bangui, is that some, something of a measure of the success of these various right, missions I there? I first of all say, uh, perhaps in more general terms, um, you are aware um, of the meeting that was organized last week in the Security Council briefing uh, um, by Luxembourg, where the, where the special representatives for fighting violence against women, protection of children, and some others spoke, and four of them spoke, and as far as I can remember, remember all four of them were fully supportive of the European Union mission. And I also found it, I also found it interesting that both Valerie was, by the way, and uh, Commissioner Georgieva, uh, when she was here, felt very strongly that this presence is useful and necessary. And you know how, how sensitive human intelligence are in general when it comes to the cooperation between the military and human intelligence. But in that context, I think even those most deeply engaged in the humanitarian work feel that the presence of the European Union uh, can play an important role in facilitating their work. And I mean, the specificities, we will then have to see what can be done. So